Giant Television proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Earth. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Well, uh, I, you you do. Why you can't grab me? I'm a game oh, show. Uh, next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Watch me. Now, it's Fee-Fi-Fo-Yum. And today's contestants, all the way from London, are the Little Rascals. And they'll be playing against the undefeated dragons from Wales. Here's a taste of the thrills and skills that stand between them and their freedom. And now, here he is, every giant's favourite host, it's Dez Batman Les Dennis! Oh, yes! Hello, teams! Hello, audience! Hello! Hello and welcome to Fee Fi Fo Yum! Yes, the show where the team that's not the winner will end up as Brian's. Dinner! Yes, here we are with two great teams of tasty Hugh Munchies once again and. 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 Snow! Sorry, Des. I've got a bit of an itchy head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Brian. Can you can you stop scratching all over the studio? Because your dandruff's going in my mouth. Oh, sorry, Des. All right. Let's get on with the show. Let's meet the teams. <laughs> meet the little rascals. Hiya, Georgie. Hiya, Les. Introduce us to your team. This is Joe. Hiya, Hiya. Joe. Hiya, Les. This is Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Les. This is Mercedes. Hiya, Mercedes. Hi, Les. And this is Jake. Hiya, Jake. Hi, Les. I love that, because every time you introduce somebody, you got the dandruff off your head there. That was really good, Georgie. And are you little rascals? Yes. In what way? We're naughty. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> no snow fights, because that would be horrible. All right? That's the little rascals. Let's go over and meet the undefeated dragons! <laughs> Hello, Farrah. You managed to avoid the dandruff there, didn't you? Introduce us to your team. This is Jess. Hi, Jess. Hi, Les. This is Anthony. Hi, Les. Hi, Anthony. That's Jack. Hi, Les. Hi, Jack. And that's Josh. Hi, Les. Hi, Josh. Good to see you. Brian. You think you could beat Brian? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? You think so, Anthony? Well, watch out, because Brian's got his eye on you. That's the two teams! <laughs> OK, teams, this is how you will play Fee Fi Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games in order to win time. The team that gets the most time at the end will have the better chance when we play the Great Escape at the end of the show. OK, remember, the team that gets beat, Brian's gonna... Eat! After all, every giant needs his five a day. I'm starving. Yeah. And a new shampoo by the looks of things, Brian. <laughs> Let's get on and play round one. When Brian is up in his kitchen watching Fee Fi Fo Yum, he loves to have a nice cup of tea, but no ordinary brew. He likes it really sweet. And when I say sweet, I mean sickly sweet. Yum. So, in this game, teams, you have to use the teaspoons that Brian has provided for you to catapult as many of those lovely big sugar cubes into the teacup as you possibly can. The team that makes him the sweetest cup of tea will win the first five-second lifeline and, more importantly, take Brian's mind off eating you for a while. <laughs> so, Brian, who's going to play? I want... Mercedes and Gio. Hmm. I reckon you'll be delicious, covered in custard. And fee fi fo yum. You're gonna end up in my tum. Anthony and Farrah. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Keep me sweet. Teams, you have until Brian's egg timer runs out. The sweeter the brew, the better for you. Brian, it's all yours. Three, two, one, key me sweet. That's it, you're off, so get those sugar lumps going. <laughs> oh, just up the side. <laughs> Don't need to be stronger than that, little rascals. Come on. If you want to be undefeated, you need to get more in. Yeah. 
Good oh. Oh. oh! Come on! Oh. 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 Test! Only 30 yeah. seconds yeah. left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Time is out. There you go. But just one in time for the undefeated Dragons. So back to your teams, players. Let's see how you did. So the little rascals, you got one, two, three, four. Ooh, what a sweet cup of tea. Wow. Brian will be thrilled. And the undefeated Dragons, you only got one. It's not quite sweet enough. It means that the little rascals get the first five second well lifeline. Done. Well done. To play for. Join us in a couple of minutes on FIFA Fo Young. FIFA Fo Yum after the break. <laughs> May contain traces of granddad's minty sweets and walking sticks. Nutrition content not guaranteed. Welcome back to FIFA Fo Yum. At the end of round one, it's the little rascals who have the first five second lifeline. Well yes. done, but the undefeated dragons, don't worry, there's still plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? Freedom! If the other team beat ya, Brian's gonna. <laughs> Talking of eating, this is Brian's favourite part of the show. I don't know why. I think it's I think it's totally overrated. Okay, Brian. Do you want to introduce it, please? It's Desi's Tasty Challenge! Brian, how many times have I told you it's Desi's Tasty Challenge and stop scratching? Oh. Get sorry, off. Des. Desi's Tasty Challenge! Do you know what, Anthony? I'm really fed up working with old flaky bods up there. You'll be all right, Les. Thanks. I'm really, really tearing up. Huh? What's that? I said I think your dandruff is really clearing up. Oh. Yeah, I think yes. it is, Des. Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> OK. I don't know what Brian has put under here. It's some kind of food. Mm. He likes to get me with anything that I don't like, basically. Yeah. So, you have to guess how much of this food I can eat in 30 seconds. You guess, you write it down on your boards. You ready? It's time to reveal the meal. <laughs> mushy peas. Mushy, mushy peas. Yum. Here we go. Right. You can uh, guess how many spoonfuls do you think that I can eat in 30 seconds? Okay, you should have come up with your times. Don't reveal them. If I had fish and chips with it, I'd quite like it. But here we go, Brian. Can I have my light, please? Right. Les's tasty challenge begins now. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Slow. Come on, Les. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Time's up. You've started, so you're finished. I know, I know, Brian. OK, hang on. I am finishing. Mm. All gone. 
<laughs> Little rascals, what was your guess? We guessed four layers. Four. Did I do more than that? I think I might have done. And what about you, undefeated dragons? What was your guess? We guessed six layers. Oh. You guessed six. So that's why you weren't cheering me on when I kept going, eh? You wanted me to stop, didn't you? <laughs> Brian, how many spoonfuls of mushy peas did I eat in 30 seconds? I can confirm you have eaten nine spoonfuls of mushy peas. Nine! So, it means that you are the closest. The undefeated dragons get the five-second nice. lifeline. Well done! <laughs> so that means it's neck and neck after two rounds. We're going to take a break. Join us in a couple of minutes to find out which of our humunchies will end up in Brian's tongue. We'll see you then. <laughs> Whoa there, Flaky! That dandruff's going everywhere! It's gonna take all day to clear up that lot! You need the brand new Waste Not Want Not Dandruff Collector! Stylish and discreet, the Dandruff Collector allows you to scratch away till your heart's content! Just look at all those lovely flakes! I know what you're thinking, be ashamed to waste them, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, here's the best part. Simply combine your dandruff with one sachet of dandruff delight and you've got a wonderful tasty treat. Mmm, flaky goodness. Waste Not Want Not Dandruff Collector comes in a choice of three fabulous colours. Yours for only 39 grots. Oh, hello. Yes, I need a dandruff collector, please. Do they come in brown? Oh, no, just blue. Oh, well, that'll do. That's fine. Yes, uh, express delivery, please. Oh, yum. Oh, it's nail biting here. We have five seconds apiece to both teams. So that means anybody could have the advantage when we get to the great escape at the end of the show. And there's another five seconds up for grabs as we play our next game. Now, Brian gets a little bit lonely up there in his kitchen, so to keep him company, he likes to make himself little buddies. But since they're made out of spuds, maybe they should be called spuddies. <laughs> All right, please yourselves. Who's your spuddy this time, Brian? It's Bob. Oh, say hello to Bob, everybody. Hello, Bob. Hello, everybody. Genius. <laughs> So, now then, in the bowl, you have to dive in and recreate Bob, and then you will win the five-second lifeline if you're the first team to do so. All clear, teams? Yes! yes. yes. Brian, it's over to you. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think you should have a go. Jake. Hmm. You look appetising. And I'll have... Jack, mm. I reckon you'd be delicious covered in jelly, mm. sloppy. And who'll be making Bob? I'm gonna go with Georgie and Alex. And I think you should play this one, Jessica and Josh. You're making my mouth warm. Brian's made his choice. Let's play! Chip off the old block. Jake and Jack, you'll dive in for the bits. You'll pass them to Alex and Josh, who will then pass them on to Georgie and Jess, who will make Bob's identical twin. The first team to do so wins. Good luck. Goggles on. Brian. Ready, steady, dive! Off you go, that's it, dive in! Pass them out! Remember, it must be Bob's identical twin! Can't be one that looks a bit like him, it must be identical! Come on, quicker! Yeah. That's it, Jess. Have a look at Bob's identical twin. Can't look a bit like Get Bob. Bob's it's got to be exactly like Bob. Yeah. Bob's identical twin will win that five all-important seconds. There 
There goes a nose. As in, the undefeated dragons are ahead. There's a hand for the little rascals. That's it, Jed. Don't throw it back into the soup. Pass it to Alex. I can see something like Bob's identical twin coming this side. Come on, hurry Give up there. The Give him a big hand. <laughs> Is that it? Do you see Bob's identical twin? Yes, it's Bob! I didn't even know I had a twin brother. So the undefeated dragons get five seconds and they've taken the lead. Yeah! You were close, but there was no nose, was there? And no hands. And no hands, so you weren't that close. But never mind. We're going to take a break. Teams, you must watch carefully and listen carefully to the ads you're going to see on GTV because I'll be quizzing you on them after the break and you can play along at home, although your life won't depend on it. See you then. <laughs> New stinks for men and four haunting aromas. Cabbage, dung, cheese and sewage. Cabbage. Ladies love it. <laughs> Stinks. Armpit decay all day. When you're in a hurry and you're going to be late, it's time to get some breakfast served up quickly on your plate. So when you're in a hurry with the ground belly song, Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done. New Humanchi Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of Humanchis. Lightly toasted until golden brown and glazed in honey for that extra crunch. Humanchi Crunchy. Make sure breakfast is fun. Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done. FIFO Yum! And I hope, teams, that you are watching and listening carefully to those ads on GTV, because I'm about to quiz you on them. If you think you know an answer, press your buzzer. If it's a correct answer, I'll give you a two-second lifeline. But be careful, because if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer, or don't answer at all, I'll pass it over to your opponents. At this point in the game, the little rascals, you have a five-second lifeline. Well done! <laughs> And the undefeated dragons, you have a 10 second oh. lifeline. This is your last chance to earn really important life saving time. Fingers on your buzzers. Good luck as we play. Ad analysis. Question one In the Stinks deodorant ad, which Stinks deodorant haunting aroma did the giant spray on undefeated itself? Undefeated dragons. Yes. Cabbage. 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 Let's see if you're right. Yes, well done, two seconds. Question two. Complete the Stinks deodorant slogan, Armpit Decay. Come on, that's an easy one. Undefeated Dragons. Yes. Um, cabbage, dung, 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 cheese and, and sewage. sewage. I'm going to pass that over to the little rascals. Cabbage, dung, cheese and sewage. No, I don't think that's right. Let's see. Stinks. Armpit decay all day. All day was what we were looking for, so nobody wins there. Question three. In the Humanchi Crunchy ad, what was in bed with the giants? Undefeated dragons. Yes. A teddy bear. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you are. Well done. And in the same commercial, where was the first place the giant looked for food? Undefeated dragons. The fridge. The fridge. Oh, that would never fridge? be right. <laughs> It is the fridge, well oh, done. It is. 
this is our last question in this round. According to the ad, New Humunchy Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of what? Undefeated dragons. Yes. Humunchies. Humunchies, is that right? New Humunchy Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of humunchies. Yes! Well done! <laughs> the end of that round little rascals you didn't get any right so no seconds mm. to you and to the undefeated dragons you've got four right so that's eight seconds yeah, that's well done <laughs> how does that affect your overall score let's find out after the weather on gtv Here's Giant Television's latest forecast, brought to you by Bot Buster Beans, loved by giants everywhere. Hi, I'm Windy Wendy Weathervane here with your GTV weather. Now, today, there are going to be unsettled conditions in the Midlands. Ooh. Moving further south down to Grunt on Sea later in the day. And that's your weather. I beg your pardon. But now, to Ned. Well, it really Ned. works. Thank you. Welcome back to B5 Bo Young. The tension is really building. Teams, it's down to you. Brian doesn't pick anymore. You must decide who will take on the great escape. Go into a huddle and decide. This decision is really important for the teams. Whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. He's the strongest person and he's going to get us our way out of here. OK, teams, back into line. I need your decisions. Little rascals, who have you chosen and why? Joe. Because he's very fast and he's very strong and he'll get us to our freedom. OK, Joe, good luck. And who, for the undefeated dragons, is playing? Josh. And why? Because he is really fast and he can sprint and he's really messily. OK, Joe and Josh, this is it. It's time for... The Great Escape. This is it. Joe and Josh, your teammates, have been trapped by Brian in the scales of justice, and their future hangs literally in the balance. <laughs> it's down to you two to try to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then, it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. But watch out for those meatballs. Once across, it's on to the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got his tea bags out. Next, you must complete the chock bar challenge, building a bridge to Brian's big bowl. Then, it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that reaches the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape using the freedom chute. I don't need to remind you, if you're not the winner, you'll be Brian's... Yeah. That's right. So, little rascals, you have an overall lifeline of five seconds. Undefeated Dragons, you have an overall lifeline of 18 seconds. That's a 13-second lead in this game. You think that will help you? Yeah. All right. And how do you feel, Joe? Four. I tell you what, we have seen teams come back even with a gap like that, OK? Good luck. You, Josh, will go on Brian's first whistle, and you, Joe, will go on Brian's second whistle 13 seconds later. Good luck, teams. Brian, are you ready? Run for your lives. There you go, you're off, Josh. There you are, you're through the donut dash very quickly. So that, that was it, you needed that last one. So then into the kitchen roll crawl. You can go now, there you go, Joe. You can catch up. Josh is through. And he's on to the kitchen roll crawl. He's on to the rolling pin run. Oh, well done! But Joe's catching up! Josh is through! That's it now then, Joe! Go to the start Take your time, take your time, because the chop bar challenge is really difficult and you could catch up there. Oh, yours again, you're going to go back! 
Josh is getting on with the chop bar challenge. He's nearly there. So Joe, still plenty of time. And Josh, you have completed the chop bar challenge. Up into the bowl. You're into the soup. You have to now get on that slippery slope. That's the hard bit. Joe, you still can catch up, believe me. As you can see, Joe's having trouble with the slippery slope. But you can do it. It would be remarkable to come back with that 13 second. You're into the soup, you're neck and neck now. It's anybody's game. What a remarkable finish to this game. Come on, Joe! He's got a very important point. Josh is back in the suit. Joe. Oh, nearly. You're nearly ahead then. So patience will really work on this one, guys. Josh! He's looking really hungry, I need ten today. So done. Oh, Josh, well done. Oh, Joe, hard luck. You caught up there, 13 seconds behind. You did really well, but the slippery slope let you down. You failed to release your teammates, so you're not the winner. I'm afraid you're Brian's winner. I'm really, really sorry, Joe. But, Brian, it's over to you. Oh, dear. Fee fo yum I'm gonna enjoy you. That's it from B5 Fo Young. Brian's eating away his five a day, but it won't keep him happy for long. Join us next Yum. time when two teams of Hugh Munchies will fight for their freedom and try to stay out of Brian's tum. We'll see you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. You all done there, Brian? No. Nope. Time for pudding. <sighs> That's disgusting. Mm. The weekend starts early with some massive shows every Big Fat Friday on CBBC. We kick off with a huge new series of the summer. Who's the governor? Then gigantic new Danny's house. I can't believe it. Cheese! Cheese. And then the whopper that is the all-new TMI Friday. Now that is big and that is very clever. The perfect way to kick off your weekend. Big Fab Fridays. Today from 4.30 on the CBBC channel. Hello, Ian Hacker here in the CBBC office. It is Big Fab Fridays, and we're on both CBBC Channel and BBC One. Hello, world! Nice, but uh, should you not be interviewing... Oi, oi, oi. Mm -hmm. Should you not be interviewing Sam Mark right now? Oh, yeah, see you later. Yeah, see you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, really? I didn't realise that. Hello, that. Simon and Mike. Well, it's Sam Hacker. I'm Mark. Yeah, whatever. What I want to know is, what is on Simon and Mike's TMI Friday this week? It's Sam Hacker. And Mark. That's what I said. Mike, what's up with your voice? And what has happened to your face? That's a lot of fake tan, even for you. No, I can't. It's not me, it's... Yeah, whatever. Are you going to tell me what's on the show or not? Yes, I will. Uh, Pixie Lot is popping in for a chat. We're going to get some serious ultimate goss from the JLS boys. And Live and Deadly's name is coming in, so that'll be good. Oh, and, and are you going to be on the telly looking like that, Mike? You could at least put a clean shirt on. I can't, I'm trying to tell you, it's not me, it's... <coughs> no excuses, Mike. This is a telly, you know. Right, I'm off. Simon, have a word, will you? Sam, but I'm not...
See you later, Pudger. Right. Oh, Sam, plump me up, will you, mate? Ah! Don't hit me there. No there. Oh, fair. I'll see you tonight, oh. BBC One. And it... Hey, hey mate! What are you doing? Nothing. I was Sam and Mark. <laughs> well, Sam was fine, but...